Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and TDG. Today I'm going to talk to you about the launch function, really, really useful function. So uh, it can get you out to your phone, your email, your maps or uh, any webs that you may choose. So it's really, really versatile. So let's uh, dive in. Quick shout out to uh, Suvidya. Uh, who uh, put together a nice little post on this and uh, so I guess mine is in support of what she's done here um, so by all means jump into that if uh, that helps you out we're going to now move over to Power so here we are on Power Apps I'm just going to do the ones that focus on the uh, computer experience first and then finish off with the phone version so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you what happens when you click on this one just actually click on it and just say launch basically it's launch quotes mail to whatever the mail address is um, and then the end of quotes and away you go so what you'll see is if i press uh, preview then i can click on that and my normal browser will fire up that's on my second screen so there you have it quite simple on the second one what we'll do is we'll move back onto there and we'll look at the maps and on this one we've got launch uh, and then here's the uh, URL there I'll put that in the notes and what you do is then put equals Q equals and I put Microsoft Paddington here and what you'll find is if you go onto the preview and then you click on it it will launch Google Maps and uh, it'll you know fire you into the place that you need to go into and we'll try that on the phone in a minute as well I think that'd be quite interesting um, so we'll now move back um, and we'll just finally look at the web URL which obviously could be anything um, in this case I've done launch www.office.com and we'll just see that if I click on that then it takes me to um, to office.com so quite useful um, so we're now going to move over to the phone and let's just see what the experience is like on that So here we are, you can see my iPhone in front of me and this is using a power mirror, it's a really useful little tool. Uh, and so what you can do is you can then click on the app that's relevant to you. Now this is actually uh, an app that is landscape. And um, what you find is um, if you click on the, I'm just about to click on the phone, uh, what you'll see is it's then going to um, ask us whether or not we want to call this and I can click call and away it goes. I'm not actually going to call that, but uh, it just shows you that you can do it. Um, so I'm going to dismiss that. Um, and then secondly, um, that's got a bit strange. I think that's because of the way I'm holding the phone at the moment. Um, the second one I want to show you is the uh, is the actual um, the maps. And so let's just take a look at that. And I kind of think it's probably going to open Google Maps, but I'm not too sure. So we'll give that a go. In fact, this has actually taken us off to um, this has actually taken us off to. Uh, I'll just check this, actually. So no, this has actually opened the app in my phone. I'm going to click directions, see what happens. Directions. OK. I've actually never done it like this before, so it's really weird. So look, it'll take me 10 hours to get there. That just shows passion. So go on, let's just let's do the walking route to London Paddington from my house. I've got quite a lot of routes I can go and I can actually click start on there and it'll take me. It says I've got to use caution because it's going to take me absolutely ages. So anyway, um, so that is all I wanted to show you. So I've just moved back to the app itself and you can see that the syntax is very simple. Obviously you could use um, use variables to push data in there. Uh, so uh, yeah, dig in to launch. I hope you uh, find this useful.